buzz going? Well, I'll tell you what, we got a pretty good day today. It got up into the 60s, I think low 70s sometime this afternoon. And here it is like 10 o'clock at night and it's still 50 degrees outside. So this is great. Warmer weather is finally getting here. And I think now that we're on the downside of March, that this warmer weather is actually going to be sticking around to stay for a while and we're not going to be needing to do unpleasant things like run furnaces and wear heavy coats and freeze when we go outside and crap like that. So that is definitely a major jump in a positive direction and I certainly for one appreciate it. I have had my fill of winter. More than ready for the warm weather of spring to start coming in. I hope we actually do have a spring instead of jumping right into summer like we did last year I think it was. You know it's like spring lasted like two minutes and then we're going to in, in the full on hot as all get out summer. But even if it does get hot I'll deal some way or another because it beats the daylights out of freezing. <laughs> oh boy. Well going pretty good here. I've got a new Kerbal Space Program video I just finished recording and I've got about uh, an hour and five or an hour and fifteen minutes worth of footage. I may end up cutting that into two episodes just simply to keep it from being too long for any one episode. We'll see about that. I've got uh, in this episode three ships arrive at Duna to end up with uh, a total of four in orbit and there's a fifth one on the way. I think that's right if I got it right. Yeah, yeah I believe that is right. But uh, in the next episode the final ship will be arriving and a little bit of uh, doing a few things that are necessary first and I actually start setting some colonists down on that planet and then meanwhile back at the home planet getting geared up for another set of missions to another place yet to be revealed. Anyway that's what's going on there in the uh, Minecraft FTV stuff I am working on a bit of a kind of a tutorial thing. There's been a couple people said something to me about this and I'm thinking it's a pretty decent idea and I'm going to go ahead and do it. And that is a tutorial of sorts with, with regard to uh, the uh, forestry bees and extra bees and so on, the beekeeping. And start it right from the very scratch of finding the first ones and doing the initial breeding and getting into the extra bees machines, and the genetic machines, and some of the incredibly crazy things you can do with the bees and whatnot. It's really fascinating and I'm very interested in doing that. So I'm going to be working on that over the next uh, question mark number of days. I don't know yet. So we'll work on that. I do have some other things that I really don't want to do that I have to do in there too. So that's going to slow me down a little bit until I can get that crap done. And yes, it's crap. <laughs> oh well, and to every life a little bit of crap must fall it seems. Or maybe it should fall out of that life. That would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Come out of here. Just a gentle ship.